ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تطروني كما أطرت اليهود لا تطروني كما أطرت النصارى عيسى بن مريم إنما أنا عبده فقولوا عبد الله ورسوله Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said لا تطروني كما أطرت النصارى ابن مريم do not exaggerate your love to me or your praise like the Christians did to the son of Mary السلام, which is Isa السلام. what did they do? they exaggerated his love and praise to the point that they worshipped him they either called him Allah or they called him the son of Allah. So he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, do not do that to me. And the reason is because he told us in another hadith that you cannot be a true believer unless you love Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more than your family, more than your children, more than people, all people, more than even yourself. So some people may exaggerate the love because it's like he told us to love him more than ourselves and that means he deserves it. So he wants to keep away from that because that may lead to worshiping Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and you would fall exactly in the same problem like the Christian did. So he identified himself وسلم, to us by saying Inna ana abduh I am the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala faqulu abdullah wa rasul Then when you want to refer to me say I am the servant of Allah and I am the messenger of Allah <coughs> Now look at here uh, there's a catch that you may not pay attention to. He said, say, he said, I am his servant. He didn't say only say, I am his servant. He said, say, I am his servant and I am his messenger. You know why? Because if you say he is his servant, then you are not giving him the status that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam deserves. It would be like me and you. And if you say his messenger only, it might fall under the uh, exaggeration in praise. So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam doesn't want you to exaggerate his praise and doesn't want you to neglect his status balance it. He is a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but he is also a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that means you hold his status high as a messenger but you never go too high because you go back he's a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a servant can never be a son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it can never be Allah. Why it cannot be the son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because the son of a human is a human. The son of an animal is an animal. The son of Allah is going to be Allah. Stop. Yeah, it be someone uh, that will be worshipping. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa wants us to keep from that and keep us from imitating certain things that the people of the book may have or may have done before keep away from it and that's why the Prophet Sallallahu uh, told us also warned us in another uh, ayah in Surah Al-A'raf Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala said فَخَلَفَ بِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ وَرِثُ الْكِتَابِ 
يأخذون عرض هذا الأدنى ويقولون سيغفر لنا وإن يأتهم عرض مثله يأخذوه ألم يؤخذ عليهم ميثاق الكتاب ألا يقولوا على الله إلا الحق ودرسوا ما فيه والدار الآخرة خير للذين يتقون أفلا تعقلون Basically Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the people of the book inherited the message of their prophets and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala entrusted them to maintain it he didn't trust us you know what he did subhanahu wa ta'ala he said inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun he said we revealed or I revealed this dhikr the Quran and the Sunnah and I will take care of preserving it. He trusted it to the people of the book and they did not hold it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said here, they inherited the knowledge from their prophets. They understood it and they studied it and they read it and they differed from it. When someone used to bribe them, they used to show him their own writing of the book. Of course, people don't know. So you have a message, which is they, they took from the prophet, which is the original message, and they have things that they wrote it themselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in many ayat that they have changed and they have written and they have uh, sold uh, basically the religion for here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, عَرَضَ هَذَا الْأَدْنَى يعني when you give them something of this worldly thing, they will change the ruling and change the message. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning us from that too. And that's why he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, مَنْ تَشَبَّهَ بِقَوْمِ فَهُوَ مِنْهُمْ So if you have some Muslim who does the same thing, he is copying them. And if you have a knowledgeable person, who changes the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who changes uh, a judgment simply because uh, the person is his relative or someone who had given them uh, in return, you know, some uh, monetary thing, something like that, then they are doing the same thing. And that's why he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, fahuwa minhum. Anyone who imitates uh, people, certain people, they would be one of them. What does that mean? It means that when you imitate something or someone, you love that thing. And if you love something, you would want to follow it and be like it. And the Day of Judgment, the Prophet ﷺ said, You will be gathered with the people you love. So if you imitate someone and you love someone, it's scary to be gathered with that person if he is a disbeliever. So this is another warning from us where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to keep away from imitating uh, wrongdoers or disbelievers in any way and always remember that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is a slave and he is also a messenger. So don't elevate his status. Now some people may praise Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa with something that he is. Overdoing it is prohibited. And some might praise him with a lie. Like some people would give you poetry that says Prophet Muhammad وسلم, knows the unseen. Where? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, told us uh, that the Prophet وسلم, said, وَلَوْ كُنْتُ أَعْلَمُ الْغَيْرُ مِنَ الْخَيْرُ وَمَا مَسَّنِي السُّوءُ If I know the unseen, then I would ask for more good and nothing would have, would have harmed me. But the reality uh, is he doesn't. So do not exaggerate and do not shortchange the Prophet وسلم, and do not imitate wrongdoers or the people of disbelief. Jazakumullahu khayran. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaykum. ورحمة الله وبركاته